Sussex went down to their first defeat from four Vitality Blast matches as they came up against the enormous T20 force of Surrey's world record holder Aaron Finch. After being put in, Finch struck the game's first boundary, a six off Ollie Robinson to begin the third over of the contest. David Reese broke the opening stand soon after, coming on to bowl, Rory Burns having his stumps disturbed. Finch played steadily in the power play, by the end of which the visitors had posted 50 runs on the board. Nick Maddinson was then trapped in front by Danny Briggs for seven. Surrey got to 82 for two at the halfway stage of their innings, Finch getting to his half century with his second maximum of his 36th delivery. The shackles though were still on and in trying to break free, Ben Folks was run out coming back for a second, he departing with a total on 92 for three in the 12th over. It was down to Finch that the visitors added a hundred more runs, the assault starting as late as the 15th over. The powerful Aussie added another maximum at the start of the next one, an over he ended from Visa by clearing the rope again. He was by now unstoppable and middling almost everything as he completed his 100 of 67 balls. He ended with a seventh maximum, finishing the innings unbeaten on 131, made out of a total of 192 for three, one man's total domination. Sam Curran then delivered a maiden to start the Surrey defence, while Jay Dernbach had Luke Wright out to the first legal delivery he faced. Incredibly, Curran then bowled a second successive maiden, this one including the wicket of Laurie Evans, the two batting heroes of the night before, out with only eight runs on the scoreboard. So Phil Salt and Tom Bruce were the men to lead the recovery and they were at least able to carry the total to 33 for two at the end of the six overs of power play. Matthew Pilans then came into the attack to remove Bruce who hold out to go for 10. And the same bowler put his side well on top by also having Michael Burgess taken by Burns for six. The Sharks were five down with just 60 runs on the board by the end of the 10th over Visa also on his way as he was bowled by Gareth Batty. So there was now a mountain to climb for the home team, so it was a good job that Joffre Archer had brought along his crampons, he taking 18 runs off a of Scott Borthwick over. Curran came back on after conceding three runs from his third over, and Archer decided that taking any runs off a left armour was good news, he being run out coming back for a second that wasn't on. Curran ended with figures of 1 for 14, Salt the only man to score a boundary off him. The match looked over when Chris Jordan sent Dernbach out to Borthwick after making 4. But opener Salt was still there and having reached a 50 off 37 balls, now decided to put the pedal to the metal. He took 21 runs off the same Dernbach over to bring the target down to 70 off the final 5. But he was going to have to go it alone when he lost Rashid Khan, who had his quietest game in Sussex colours so far, he out for a single. And when Salt finally followed in the 17th over, Pillens getting his man, who'd made 74 from 47 balls, with 8 fours and 2 sixes. And Pillens, who claimed 3 for 20, even had a hand in the last wicket, holding on to remove Briggs, as the Sharks were all out in the 18th over for 140. That meant a loss by 52 runs, a disappointing result after winning their first three Vitality Blast matches on the road. They now return to Championship cricket as Gloucestershire have Red Bull commitments at their outground of Cheltenham.